Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 2 of our Synonym Grid with Docker video series. And in this video, we will be talking about initiating Docker container Selenium grid setup. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 1 since this part is going to be a complete continuation of that part. Alright, so for initiating our Docker containers for Selenium grid setup, I am going to flip to PowerShell. So I am going to open the Windows PowerShell and then here as we have already discussed in our previous video series which is nothing but the understanding the ABC of Docker video series where we discussed how to work with Docker's and how to look the images which is available within my Docker so you can see something like this Docker images if you see here I have already downloaded the latest version of Docker Selenium Hub container and Selenium Node Firefox container Selenium Node Firefox Debug Container and Selenium Node Chrome Container. So you can see that these are the different kinds of containers I have already downloaded and the reason is because the size of these containers was kind of large. It's like 800 MB, 600 MB, 500 MB. So if I keep on downloading these containers during the video session, it will take a lot of time. So I have already downloaded that. But how to download this? It's very very simple. The very simple command is docker pull selenium hub should be more than enough for downloading the selenium hub. So you can go to the hub.docker.com and then you can search for selenium and you can see that you will have selenium hub right here and within this you can see that to download the latest version of selenium hub you have to use this docker pull selenium hub. That's it. So this is the command for pulling the latest version of Selenium Hub into your Docker container. And similarly, you have to download the other versions, which is nothing but the Selenium Node for Firefox debug and Selenium Node for Chrome debug. So I will also show you what is the Selenium Node for Firefox debug and Selenium Node for Chrome debug. Actually go to the Google and search for Selenium Grid Docker and it will take you to what is called as a github page so if you go here you can see that this particular github page has got so many different configurations of chrome and firefox nodes so you can see that the images which is available is something like this selenium base it is actually the base image which includes the java runtime and selenium jar file so it includes just this and there is a selenium hub which is an image for selenium grid hub and there is a node base as well so you can see there is something called as selenium node chrome selenium node firefox but there is also a selenium standalone chrome and selenium standalone firefox so what is the difference between these two so this is actually a node chrome which is nothing but a selenium node with chrome installed need to be connected with a selenium grid hub so this is something which you can only connect with a grid hub but if you want to run a standalone chrome machine then you need to download this image the selenium standalone with chrome installed and similarly there is something called a selenium chrome debug again what is the difference between the standalone chrome versus the standalone chrome debug actually this standalone chrome will have just the chrome installed within the image but you cannot actually connect to that machine and see what is actually happening behind the scenes with the browser but if you want to see the UI of the browser itself then you need to connect the particular machine with what is called as a VNC so you can see the selenium standalone with chrome installed and runs a VNC server so it actually runs a VNC server service within this particular uh, image so that you can see the UI of the particular uh, browser as well Similarly for the Firefox so if you want to see the UI of the node that you are running again the VNC server installed in that particular image then you need to run this the node chrome debug and that's the reason I actually have a node Firefox and this particular image will actually not have the VNC server running in that particular image but the selenium node chrome debug will actually have the VNC server installed up and running so that I can directly connect with what is called as a VNC viewer and you can connect to that particular remote machine and see what's really happening behind the scene in the Chrome browser. So this is very very handy and helpful, right? 
all right so actually we need to have this particular image so if you want to get this particular image just copy this uh, command and go to the hub.docker.com and search for this particular image you can see that you will get the selenium node chrome debug so you can actually download this particular image in your docker by using this docker pull selenium node chrome debug again if you download this it will actually download the image into your machine right so if you think that your actual image is kind of outdated or something like that all you have to do is just do something like this docker pull selenium slash hub if you just do that it will see whether the particular image that i have is the latest one or not i guess it is latest so it, it seems like it says that it's already exist and it's up to date so i don't have any problem and if i really feel like the chrome debug is kind of uh, outdated or something like that so i can just do docker pull and just paste this particular image name and see if that is outdated or not there we go it seems like it is already up to date so i don't have any problem with these two images which is pretty good to go and all we have to do is just to start the selenium hub and then connect the selenium nodes with that hub so let's quickly do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start the service which is nothing but i'm going to run the particular hub using a command which is already available so let me go right here you can see that in order to start this particular image you can use this command docker run hyphen d hyphen p hyphen hyphen name selenium hub and selenium slash hub so if you do this way it will actually expose you a selenium hub up and running but i would say that it is okay to run this way but I would also say that you expose a port to the external world so that you can access that using your C sharp code. So I'm going to do that as well. So what I'm going to do again for exposing the ports and how the ports is actually connecting to a different containers, how the linking is actually working. Please go ahead and watch the understanding the ABC of Docker video series available in our execute automation channel since in that video series we have discussed a lot about dockers and how to link and how to expose the ports and all those stuff right don't worry about it it's already available out there for free all right so let me start the docker hub for selenium so i'm just gonna use docker run hyphen d hyphen i'm gonna use the small p this time for exposing a port basically the selenium hub will expose a port called 4444 so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to execute the same code or same command which is available on the uh, on the instruction given so that you will see what's actually happening behind the scene so let me just start whatever command is available right here and i will just demonstrate and show you how it looks like oh sorry should be selenium hub there we go it has started and now you can use a command called docker ps hyphen a to see the number of process running currently in your docker container and you can just do a docker logs and you can see what's really happening with that particular hub you can see that it is actually running with the port number 4444 and it is also listening this particular port and it is ready to connect to any number of nodes so any nodes which is available will automatically register into this particular port right but this is an internal port but if you want to expose an external port which can be consumed by your c sharp code to execute some of the test then you need to expose the port as well so this will actually not help while you start running your code so what you have to do basically is let me go and stop this particular container so I know how to stop that docker stop and this is the image ID and docker rm to remove the process from the listing there we go and now you should not see the process running there we go no process is running right so now what I'm going to do just docker I'm going to use the same command which we used to start the hub but we are going to use an extra command 
P four 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 six which is going to map with the four 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 port and then we are going to use the hyphen capital P right so this will do a real magic for us so if you can see here you can see that we have also exposed a port 44446 for the distributor 4 right so this is going to be the port which we can use for our local application to connect with the hub right great so now i have to start two nodes right we already have two nodes available so you can see that we have the node for chrome debug and node for firefox debug so let me copy this command and let's quickly go to the oops let me quickly see what is the command to actually link the nodes with the hub it's very very simple docker run hyphen d hyphen p link the selenium hub and this is the value right so i'm just going to do the same thing so let me quickly see what is the command I gave. What is the name I gave for the Selenium Hub? It is actually Selenium hyphen Hub, right? All right. So let me just remove all these things and let me expose the port, whatever port I got. And then I'm just going to say Selenium hyphen Hub colon Hub, which is going to be the name of the Hub. And then I'm going to say Selenium slash node Chrome debug. So if I say this, it is actually going to start a Selenium node and it's going to register that with the hub. That you can actually see using this PowerShell command again. So what I'm going to do, docker ps hyphen a. Let me quickly listen this particular guy, which is nothing but our hub. So I'm just going to copy this value and I'm going to say docker locks. There we go. You can see that the it just says Selenium Grid Hub is up and running, but no node is actually registered yet. Now I'm going to actually register a node with that particular hub. If I run this, there we go, it has started. And now if I kind of try to see the locks, you can see that it has registered a node, right? So it has registered a node and you can also see that there will be a port to connect the vnc server you can see there is a port 32775 which is actually a vnc server port is exposed to connect for for from the external applications right so the last thing which you need to do is start one more node maybe a firefox uh, firefox node so that i can also run two tests using the uh, using the Selenium grid. So there we go. And now let me quickly see what is the locks. There we go. You can see there is one more node also registered along with this particular hub. So now if you see here docker ps hyphen a, you can see we have a Firefox container running, uh, a node for Chrome running, and we have a Selenium hub running. So all we have to do is to see how these guys are actually working. The last thing I will show you quickly is to connect with the VNC server. So what I'm going to do, let me see if I want to connect with the Chrome debug. Actually, if you connect this and see, you will not see a great UI, but you will still see there is a Ubuntu symbol coming up. So 32775, right? This is the port. You can see it is actually showing you a message saying it is an unencrypted connection. You can still continue and it will ask you for a password. So now if you're wondering what is the password for that particular machine because you have not even set it, you can actually go to this particular GitHub page and if you scroll down a little bit, you can actually see the password is secret. I'm not saying it's secret, but the password itself is secret. You can see right here, when you are prompted for the password, it is secret and you can also change the password if you want, right? So the password is this. So what I'm going to do is E C R E T. I'm just going to hit it. You can see it is actually bringing us a window with an Ubuntu logo in it. Basically, it's an Ubuntu operating system. So it is actually showing that. Similarly, you can connect to the another 
container as well. That's it guys. So this is how you can make a linking between your hub with two different nodes. In the next video, we will actually run the real code and execute the test on these two containers, which is nothing but the nodes and see how things works. So thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.